What's with 2023 and Mean Girls? They seem to be just falling out of the air, one by one. We've had Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Hailey Bieber, Jackie from Love is Blind, Irina and Micah from Love is Blind. And now I've come across four other Mean Girls on TikTok. I'm sure you have as well, because one of the videos I'm talking about has gone viral. In this video, we're gonna watch those videos together and I'm gonna react to them. So let's get right on to the video. So we're starting off with the two girls who were bullying, kind of, uh, another girl who was making a video of herself at a baseball game. The video has gone viral and let's say it isn't looking too good for the two girls. Watch my confidence disappear after these random girls make fun of me for taking pics. Okay, feeling my spice vibes. Was this necessary? Thank you. Criminally offensive side eye starts recording me. What is she even doing? Is she still stuck in her elementary school era? Telling her bestie it. I can literally hear the whole convo. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Realizing they are talking about me. Feeling super self-conscious. I wanted to cry. What happened to minding your own business? I can't say like how many times I have seen people doing this before me, like making a video of themselves. And I just let them be. I admire their work. I mean, for introverts like me, it can be a lot to just, you know, even take photos in public. So when someone is taking a photo or a video of themselves in public, I just let them be because i know for myself that it sometimes can feel pretty awkward if you make content in public or you know what i mean and if you look at the other people behind the girl that is making the video of herself they also leave her alone they're also not making weird faces in the background but i have seen something of that these girls have made apology videos or a apology video and even the boyfriend of one of the mean girls in the back has made a video in which she sounds very stupid let's first try to find the video in which they are apologizing or oh, well actually victim blaming hey guys this is liz this is Alondra, and we're here to tell you our side of the story. Sorry it took us a little bit of time to get back to y'all. Uh, we are college students with jobs and a life. Um, Do they still have the job? I know people found their LinkedIn, and I'm just wondering. When we got assigned our seats, um, before the game started, um, I got called out to the big screen, um, and we'll add the clip on there for y'all to see and witness what kind of happened. Um, it was just like, you know, a normal con contest of us dancing, participating uh, for a little coupon. Nothing too major. <laughs> Nobody asked. Um, and when I came back from my seat to sit down, uh, this older man came and sat in front of us and started to record us. Um, so obviously an older man recording us at that point made us feel very uncomfortable, keeping in mind we had just been on the big screen. People are saying, oh, if you so felt uncomfortable then why didn't you move we didn't move because we were actually sitting on our assigned seats the ones that we paid for where were we gonna go on um, the thing is that in this situation she was not sitting on her right spot okay but are you saying that they were making you uncomfortable because they were not sitting on their own seats I've been at many football games before, I've been at some concerts before. Do you know how many people aren't actually sitting or standing at their own place? I've seen so many people just walk to the front seats just to make a better picture. Because the view from there is better. 
And how does someone make you uncomfortable by not sitting in the right seats? As far as the flicking off goes, because I know a lot of people have been really bothered at that, saying that that was the whole bullying situation, the flicking off was not aimed towards her, I just want to specify. The flicking off was aimed towards the camera, because um, her husband had been recording for over maybe 5 to 10 minutes, which continued to make us uncomfortable. So because someone is making you uncomfortable, you're just going to flip them off? So yes, I do acknowledge that that my behavior was inappropriate, but keep in mind any woman, any young lady at a public area would feel harassed. I also want to explain my part. It's clear that the whole time that she was doing her own reactions towards the, the camera, I did not know what was going on with that. Okay. The second I found out about this video being uploaded, that's when I saw what she was doing. So I had no part in that, okay? Damn! I know that there's gonna be people out there that are not gonna believe this, but we were not bullying her. There was nothing said that we can mess up with, our, with her self-esteem. We never called her ugly. We never called her any name. We didn't know what she looked like. We didn't even know she went to our school until we saw the video and we saw her profile. And we were like, oh, she's actually, in fact, the marketing girl of our school. She has a job at her school where she used her um, editing skills and marketing skills to her advantage and used it in a very, I would so call it, disgusting way. You took the time out of your life to edit a video and make it look like we were bullying you when that was not the case at all. You cannot be for real. It was a photobomb moment. Anyone has it. If in the news, the media has it. And if you took it some type of personal way, like... <sighs> what are you trying to say? I think the main point I can get out of this video is they were feeling uncomfortable. They are blaming the girl and a older man. And they are basically blaming the girl that they have bullied for using her marketing skills and editing skills to make them look bad. It is your actions that have been shown. You guys made yourself look very bad. It is not because of editing. I'm sure of that. And saying that you were feeling uncomfortable and using that as an excuse to flip someone off to, you know, just make fun of someone, laughing, photobombing. How old are you? I also had this when I was at Buckingham Palace. Three people photobombed me out of nowhere. And I was like, come on, why? You're trying to make a good picture or a cute video. And someone just photobombing you. Why? <laughs> and also the one girl, the one on the left, she was saying like, As for me, I didn't know what she was doing. I only knew when she said we are going to be in this video and then they photobombed her. Basically, one of the girls is snitching the other one. Lovely friends. Now let's find the reaction of the boyfriend. He is also blaming Jackie La Bonita. Update, Lizard's boyfriend speaks out. Hate over to me, even though I didn't even do anything. I'm completely fine, I can take it. Y'all can call me names, say stuff about me, it really doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother you, but you have to make a video about it and post it on TikTok. But it really doesn't bother you. But if you have something to say about me, just say it to me. Please don't go out and cuss my parents out, cuss my aunts out, cuss my family members out. It's, it's just unnecessary. I'm here to have a civil conversation, so if you want to ask any questions, just comment below. I'll answer truthfully, and if I get something wrong, or I say something wrong, or I get proven wrong, I will take accountability for it. Also, none of the girls work at Limestone Commercial Real Estate, so if y'all could please just leave positive reviews because y'all have just been leaving hate on hate on hate. You're talking about a random company that doesn't even know what's happening, just getting bombarded by one-star reviews. We're talking about a completely innocent person completely getting their business potentially destroyed just because of all these reviews. And regardless of what you think of the situation, that is completely wrong. I don't understand why you would go after a company and leave them, the company, a one-star review when that could be the only way these people are making money. This guy's more concerned over the companies than over his own girlfriend, but I... You don't know their situation. They could be struggling right now and then you're hitting them with one-star reviews. So I kindly ask you, if you have left the negative review here, please remove it. 
they have nothing to do with this and they don't deserve anything. Also, for all of y'all leaving hate, I just don't understand how y'all are standing against bullying and then literally cyberbullying every single person in, like that is not even involved in this and going as far to take down a company just because y'all thought she worked there. Like, we just need to be better. Just a little feedback for the boyfriend. Try to, if you want the relationship to last, defend your girlfriend instead of the companies. In the last part of what he was saying, like, if you're standing against bullying and then you are, well, kind of bullying these two mean girls, bullying is never okay. Don't lower yourself to, you know, their standards. And I've seen a few girls who, you know, have been mistaken for one of the girls in the video because they look alike. And people have been sending hate to the wrong people, to the wrong companies, but also to some girls who have nothing to do with this. So be careful and don't go out of your way to, you know, leave all those hate comments. They're not worth it. And I just found out he has another video and he's just basically blaming Jackie instead of the mean girls. But basically what I'm trying to say, you're bullying someone and then you are trying to gaslight all the people over the internet basically. But just why? Why is it necessary to bully someone? Just let people be. Oh, and one thing I did also want to say, you're okay with being shown on the big screen in the stadium. But then when you're in the background of a video, then it's a big deal and you're uncomfortable. You could also just move out of the way for a few seconds, you know, if you really don't want to be in that video. Do you know how many other people are being shown in that video? And they don't have a problem at all. Moving on to the Mean Girls in Italy. It is a video in a train, I think. And basically they are being mean towards the family of the girl who posted the video. Let's just watch the video. <laughs> okay, so we have people that think it's funny. Let's get started. <laughs> Sorry, when did Ni Hao become hilarious? I mean, I'm, I'm just confused. <laughs> So not only do you say it once, you say it twice for comedic relief? Did the joke land? Ni hao, hola, bonjour, hello. <laughs> so funny, girl. <laughs> so funny. Here's an update for you. Margarita, the girl with the headband, reached out to me on Instagram. The laughter wasn't the only thing they were offended by, sweetheart. They were offended by you all making fun of the saying ni hao. Because you didn't say it once. You said it twice. This is so backhanded. Feel free to keep the video up to spread your message. I hope you know that it's going to have an opposite effect. What are you talking about? Because apparently, again, y'all felt the need to laugh and keep on repeating the saying ni hao and laugh is is the joke in the room with us here bravo to her response snap fingers i want to leave y'all with this and i said this before mind the business you keep why are people so annoying i don't even know if the people that these girls were making fun of were chinese i know that they're asian but people seem to think that with every Asian person they look at that they are instantly Chinese. I mean, I've had a K-pop face and I still like K-pop and sometimes when people see what I'm watching, they are saying, why are you watching Chinese guys? People, it is K-pop, you know, pop in Korean. Asian doesn't equal Chinese. Do you know how many Asian countries there are? And What's so funny about Ni Hao? It just means hello. These girls find themselves so funny. What's so funny? <laughs> You're basically saying hello and then breaking out in laughter. I mean, I don't know what your sense of humor is, but... But I think this is what they do with Asian people a lot. They are saying Ni Hao or 
they are saying that they are eating dogs or you know animals and also with covid like i've seen people when they see an asian person screaming like you're the reason we had covid like why these inappropriate jokes are being made a lot towards asian people again why i just don't understand really what happened with minding your own business you know when i'm sitting in a train or something i'm listening to my music and i'm trying to avoid most eye contacts but okay <laughs> I'm definitely not going to make fun of people that I don't even know. Even if you knew these people, I still wouldn't make fun of them in that way even. And honestly, all those people, all those mean girls and you know, just bad people in general are mainly apologizing because they got caught, not because they are actually sorry. Just the same with the last two girls we have seen. I mean, the first two girls didn't even apologize. Why does almost everyone think that they can just share their opinion on everything? You're allowed to have your own opinion, but you don't have to share it. Keep it to yourself. Well, and just don't be like these people. Then you'll be fine. Let's just leave this mean girl shit in this period of 2023 and let's just move on and all be more kind. Let's just respect each other. No matter from what country you are, no matter what race you are, no matter what skin color, no matter what sexuality, let's just be nice to each other. And with that being said, that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving those thumbs up and maybe even subscribe if you want. And let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.